Hello everyone, Hector Mendoza. I have four devices here. They all are electronic measuring devices. Two of them are made by the same manufacturer. The other two, one of them is made by Stanley and the other one is Magpie. They all got different functions and I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of them. I have a, a other videos that show you how to install these things so that you can use them with Bluetooth and Xactimate, uh, two of them. So let me show you. What I want to show you is how accurate all of these devices are. Remember, we have to be to the nearest inch when we're out there in the field. So the first one I'm going to measure with is the Stanley. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, excuse me, I'm going to get this area here. Where it's flat right then I'm going to get the device and I'm going to measure and I got five feet one inch I'm going to grab the next one and measure that one's five one now I'm going to get the other device measure five one and get the last one And it's five one. So all five of these devices measure five one. So if you notice here, let me show you. See that one five one. That one five one is the first number. On this one, the five one would be the last number. And then this one is 5-1. So they all were accurate. Okay, now let me show you uh, the difference between some of these things here. So let me make sure that you can see everything. Okay. Now, first of all, the Stanley is just a normal uh electronic device that you just buy at the store pretty cheap now these other ones they all except this one these two are about two hundred dollars this is about a hundred and forty dollars this one does a lot of functions so does this i used this for three years i loved it okay so um <clears throat> with the magpie uh, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the light so you can see uh, the laser itself. If you notice, it's only pointing one direction, right? That's because the way I have it set. Right now, I ha I've ha have it reading from here down there. Now I'm going to make it read both directions and it'll give me the measurement. So if I hold this down. Now, if you notice, I have a laser on the right-hand side and one on the left-hand side. When I click on this, it gives me the measurement. Also, I could measure the ceiling and the floor without having to get on my knees or on my, uh, you know, touch the floor. You know, sometimes you get out there into flood areas and it's nasty. Not the houses, but the stuff that comes in. Okay, so that's the advantage of this. Now, what I'm gonna show you is, <clears throat> I'm gonna draw this room, okay, um, with the distal. And what the machine's gonna do it's automatically key in the information for me. So first of all, let me make sure that um, the device is on. We have to have this program on, and I explained this on uh, another one of my videos. Let me make sure that, yep, it's working. So now I'm gonna create a room. I'll hit my vertex, uh, excuse me, my break tool and do the kitchen. So my first measuring 
measurement will be right here. Okay, if you notice, it automatically put it in there. Yes, and the next measurement, I'm gonna measure from here to here, and it's automatically gonna key it in for me. Okay, now the next measurement is from here to there. And the last measurement is from here, excuse me, from here to there. So if I was drawing this kitchenette all, and there's a bathroom in there, all I have to do is hold my control key and create the, uh, the last room. So at that point, I would just name it. This area is the kitchen. And this would be the bedroom. Living area. Okay, so now uh, that's a missing wall there. So I got two doors, right? So if I hit D for door, and it's actually going in that direction, I could click here, and if this was a different size door, I would just click here, and it would change the, uh, what was the, so it's a three foot door. It measured 211, but it's probably 211 and uh, what does it say? A 211. Okay. And so you could do the other doors, you know, same thing. I'd have to open up the door, but if it was a, you know, three, the hinges are reversed. So that's how simple it is. When you're out there in the field uh, with this device and this device, you can do a lot of things. Let me show you some other cool stuff. Uh, with both of these devices and this one, let's say that I needed this measurement from here to here. This is my base height for my for the uh, uh, cabinet. It would be hard to measure with a measuring tape you, you'll always get it wrong right but with these three devices you could go in get the top of this one you can hit plus go to this and gives you the measurement so from here to here is four feet. There's a lot of other functions that this stuff does, and uh, I have videos for that stuff. So just watch some of my videos on my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Hector Mendoza. Thank you for watching this video. Now you know that all four of these devices are pretty accurate.